26th of January, there will be many horses that will be lining up for the 2,000 meter start, but very few of them will ever have paraded here at Turfentain. One of those horses is a horse called Legal Eagle. He's won eight grade one races, including three Lormorans Queen's Plates, three horse chestnuts 1600s, and of course he's been victorious in the richest race in the land over 2,000 meters. He also won the South African Derby, just for good measure, over 2,450 meters as a three-year-old. Sean Terry believes that he might have run ever so slightly below par in the 2019 renewal of the Lormorans Queen's Plate. And we now have an opportunity to find out from Sean exactly what he thought may have been wrong even though we're talking about minuscule margins over here because he finished alongside undercover agent who also finished alongside of him in the Greenpoint Stakes. So let's, without any further ado, chat to former champion trainer of South Africa, Sean Terry. Going into the race, we were, we were pretty confident, Andrew. Um, I don't want to be seen to be making excuses here, but um, saddling up the horse, the horse, you let us saddle him up very easily, which is not normally the case. You always have to be on your your very best just to, to make sure that he gets um, saddled. Uh, he's normally quite difficult in the parade ring and going out. He was quite easy in the parade ring. He gave his usual spin um, in, the, in the shoot and then cantering down, he, he strode out beautifully, but just looked a bit lethargic and uh, confirmed that coming into the straight where he was basically, looked to me like the first horse gone. Um, yeah, I, as I said, I don't want to make excuses and, and we haven't been able to, to quantify or, or to uh, pinpoint any, he hasn't come back with a problem. So it's hard for me to tell everybody to ignore that run and we haven't found anything to fix and, and we may get the, the same thing the next time, we don't really know. But um, at the end of the day, um, I, I'm, I'm happy to put a line through the run, obviously the owners are too. And uh, yeah, we go into the Met with absolutely no pressure. We know uh, after winning three Queen's Plates, he hasn't managed to pull it off, so we, we're not uh, fooling ourselves at all. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, we don't feel that uh, we've found anything sufficient to, to pull the plug at this stage. Maybe an opportunity for Lyle, no pressure on him. And I've always really wanted to give this horse a chance and in the, uh, like come from the back of the field uh, in a 2000. And yeah, let's just see. Gives me the opportunity to do that. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Anton Marcus, being the consummate professional that he is, will be the first to concede that he didn't shine on Legal Eagle this time last year in the, the running of the Sun Met, whether it was circumstantial or whatever it was. And obviously his decision to jump onto Rainbow Bridge is a professional decision, I would think. Yeah, listen, at the end of the day, everybody's got their own careers to look after. Um, I, I respect that. Uh, Anton has done exceptionally uh, well with Legal Eagle. Um, he always points out on a regular occasion how many Group 1s he's won for me. So, uh, you know, we can't knock Anton at this stage of the game. And I'm, I'm happy for Eric at the end of the day. Eric's been a good friend of mine and, and, and maybe the change works well for him. Um, I, I, I know people have told me the deal was broken beforehand. I refuse to believe that. And, um, yeah, let's, let them enjoy their race. OK, let's get clinical for a second because... Undercover agent and you finished so close together in the Greenpoint Stakes. Exactly the same thing happens in the Lormorans Queen's Plate. Rainbow Bridge, who has a fast pace in the Queen's Plate, now improves probably the same distance that he might have improved if there had been a good pace in the Greenpoint. We don't know that. It's an imponderable. But the horse that really, really improved was Dude again. Is that how you read the race? Listen, I haven't overanalyzed it. It took me a long time to re-watch this race. It was, it, it was not a a race that I was charging to look at replays. Um, however, the only thing I can tell you is that I was gone at the top of the straight. So for you to tell me the form's confirmed, I have to uh, not agree with that in any way. So undercover agent probably also ran below form. I, I haven't checked the times, but the, uh, even though they went a better pace, that uh, pacemaker was under pressure to be there. It's not no. like um, he was running everything off, his, off their feet. Um, However, and he pulled I mean, up unsound as well. Well, I don't know the details. I yeah. can't comment. But the bottom line is, uh, I can't speak on another trainer's hand. Um, I do know Miles Rambi Lopo. So, bottom line is, with Lyle Hewitt's on the board, who's been the reserve for quite some time and has always helped you when it comes to getting on the horse and keeping him calm, he now gets a time to shine. Yes, listen. Uh, you know, maybe it's not an opportunity when the horse is not on the up. Uh, you know, it's hard to... 
to, to be sure if it is an opportunity or if it isn't an opportunity. People may say, oh, but hold on, he ran a bad race. It's not an opportunity getting on the horse now. Maybe it's the wrong time for him. Maybe it's the right time. Who knows? Well, finally, I have to say to you that there are, there are only very, very few horses in the history of horse racing that do what Pocket Power did. Legal Eagle has won eight Group 1s to my calculation. Maybe none, I don't know. You maybe can tell me better. But he's, he's just about as good as Pocket Power, one has to say. Listen, um, Legal Eagle's a star in his own right. He's done whatever he's had to do. Whatever he does from now is a bonus. There's no doubt in my mind he ran below best. And who knows, we may just be back next year just to irritate John Friedman. Why are we looking for another winner when he's won the last three? He's 10 out of 10 over a mile. That's legal. Oh, come on, give us, give somebody else a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it again to win it. Yeah, I'm sure you <laughs> or do. Or snow dance. That's, yeah. that's that. Or undercover agent. That was not about stallions that I represent. You know, I'm very... <laughs> don't, don't call me subjective. <laughs>